Hello, everybody. Um, this evening, it's hot. It was so friggin' hot here today, you guys. Um, it was like 97 degrees. And for New England, that is awful. So, I put the dogs in Chris's bedroom, which is air-conditioned, and I came up here, which is air-conditioned. I would turn the air-conditioner... Mm, I'll turn the air-conditioner off. Uh, and turn it back on when I'm done. So, tonight I'm doing a grenade pour. I guess I need a pin for my grenade. Anyway... I'm doing a grenade pour as part of a challenge for a group that I'm in that's lots of fun. So, um, I thought, what the heck, you know, I never talk during my videos and maybe just this once I could because grenade pours are a lot of fun, but they're also not terribly complex and I don't have to think a lot, which is good. Um, so I thought that maybe I could get it together enough to talk while I paint, paint while I talk, get some gloves on. And, um, these are some leftover paints that I had from my last painting, which was really large and sort of overestimated the paint that I would need. So I have some left, which is all right. Um, so this is a... Artist Loft Level 3 Gallery Wrapped 12 inch by 12 inch canvas. I have pinned and taped the underneath. I have painted my sides and edges so that the white of the canvas doesn't show through, which often happens, and nobody likes that. So here I have this is some white cell activator left over. And this is some black cell activator and I don't know how they'll work in a, in a grenade pour, but it's leftovers. So we'll see. I have Artist Loft Metallic, Metallic Cobalt Blue. I have Amsterdam Pearl Violet. I have Pebeo Iridescent Green Yellow. I think. <clears throat> and I have Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple mixed with some Blicrylic Metallic Purple. I have some Deco Art Americana Bronze. Bronze, I think. <laughs> and I have some um, Amsterdam phthalo blue, not very much of the phthalo blue. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour into a puddle of the phthalo blue because one of the rules for this challenge is no gold. No gold? What? Like, I don't know whether I can do that. Oh, and I have this little piggy in Grenache in this little thing. Um, anyway, so no gold, which is always like shocking to my system. So I said, I can use bronze. That's not gold. And it's not. But I think I'm going to use that in with my other paints and pour into a puddle of this blue. Maybe I'll put some bronze in with the blue. We'll see. There we go. There's a nice little puddle of blue. That just gives the paint something to work with once it gets on the canvas. Easier to spread. Um, I am going to sprinkle a little of this on there, not a lot, just like that. Now we're going to pour a cup. I'm going to do a dirty cup. That basically means that we're going to pour all of our paint in here. And instead of making layers, I'm going to pour them in just from high so that they kind of churn and blend with each other, which usually makes some pretty interesting effects. But this white cell activator is kind of old. It worked fine when I used it last. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in the bottom, just for funsies. We'll see what happens with that. I want my primary color that's going to show to be purple. So first we're gonna put in 
a goodly little amount of our dioxazine purple with metallic purple. And we're just gonna put that in like this. Now, this being a 12 by 12, I only need about five ounces of paint. So, green and purple, interesting color combo. Can be kind of tricky. So I'm gonna put in this uh, pearl violet. I swear it looks pearl green in the cup, but it said pearl violet, so we're gonna go with that. We'll put that in next. We're gonna pour from up here so that it goes down into the purple. You get kind of a, you see how the purple rose up, but you don't see this color? That's because it went down in the middle. I'm gonna put some of this um, uh, cobalt, metallic cobalt. Yay. And then we're gonna put some of this here, uh, iridescent green yellow. And we're almost, we'll probably got enough paint in there right this second to be good. I'm gonna just dribble a little of that in there. Now this red is beautiful. And I have it in this little squirty thing. Um, I don't know how smart this is. So we're just gonna put some, we're just gonna put some, whether it's smart or not. And I'm gonna top it off. I'm still gonna have leftover paint. I knew that was gonna happen. I'm just gonna top it off with a little more purple. Okay, we have more than enough paint now. Now you will notice that there is a thumbtack in the side. That makes things fun. I wanna get these out of my way. I'm just making a mess. I just put this plastic on this table, so I'm feeling a little bit protective about it, but what are you gonna do besides make a mess? You're gonna grab the paper towel that you found that you had secreted away in there and wipe off the dots. Everybody always makes fun of me because I wipe things up immediately, but I found that if you don't wipe it up immediately, you end up with quite a mess. I didn't use this, it's black. I have some bad luck with black cell activators sometimes. The white seems to work better for me. So, you know, we're just gonna do the white. All right, so we have this lovely puddle. See, I can't show it to you very long because it'll run. We have this lovely puddle here. And I am going to flip this cup into that puddle. Hopefully without splattering everything in the region. I've done that before. So here we go. Not bad. Now, the idea here is you pull this pin and the air that goes in the hole resulting from the pin pushes the paint out. It's kind of cool. And it happens usually pretty quick. So let's pull the pin. Boom. There it goes. Now in this, this challenge, I always wanna call it a contest, but it's not a contest because we're not like competing. They said you have to lip it. And what that means is when you pick up the cup, you have to drag the edge of the cup through the painting. It makes, it kind of wrecks it and it makes some interesting effects, so. There we go. Let me just put that there for a second, let some more of that paint come out. Well, look at that. It was interesting. Um, the white that was on the bottom of the cell activator has definitely made some lacing. You probably won't get to see it because it'll probably dissipate by the time I get y'all over here to look at the canvas. But look at the inside of the cup. Isn't that cool? It's always so pretty in there. Always makes me wish it was on the painting, but you know, it's not. So we're going to take what's left of our phthalo blue and we're going to put it around the edges as a flow extender. Now, basically what that means is it's kind of like, kind of like canvas lube. It, 
gives the painting something to glide on so that the composition of the paints don't roll over themselves and eat themselves. Does that just sound bizarre? Um, it makes sense. I promise. Um, it's like, if you spill a milkshake in your car, you know, it just sort of like tumbles over itself as it rolls downhill to the back of your seat where it's going to rot and you're never going to get cleaned out. But if you spill another milkshake on top of that milkshake, not only are you going to cuss real good, but it's just going to glide because it's already got a wet surface to ride on. And that's what this does. It gives it a wet surface to glide on. I'm telling, telling me all learned about milkshakes spilling in cars here. There you go. All right. So now we've got our low extender happening here. And I'm just going to spread that out good. Probably could have done that in purple given that my edges and things are purple, but that's okay. We don't follow rules here. It's the feral art way. <laughs> Got me in all kinds of trouble when I was a kid, but we'll see about now. Could get me in trouble now, too. I don't know. Anyway. So, there we go. Let's get this off of this spatula. This is not my favorite spatula, but what you gonna do? My favorite spatula is still dirty from the other day. I can't even believe I haven't washed it yet. It got wiped off. It just didn't get washed. So, it's in the dirty pile. So, now we have all of this exciting mess on the canvas. It is kind of messy looking right now. So, we have some air bubbles. I'm going to take our torch and get rid of those. they're dangerous and all that stuff but I find that the worst thing about them is I sit them down and then I go to reach for something and tss, I've done that like twice now once I've got a pretty good scar the second time not so much but it's not very comfortable so here we go I have some cells coming up and that's pretty cool I like that um I would like to let it sit for a little bit but in the interest of time I think I'll just go ahead and tilt it and see what happens. I see a bronze uh, cell. There's some bronze right there. There's that um, pearl violet. The pearls are weird. They look white, but when you put them up against a dark color when they dry, this will shift to violet from sort of a silvery white to a violet. It's kind of weird, but it's cool. So let's tilt this thing out. I'm trying to decide what I like the least and what I like the best. And with, <laughs> with a grenade or with a flip cup, it's always kind of a toss up because it's all very interesting. I think I like this part over here the least. So I'm going to I'm going to go that way first, just because I am, because it's already out there. I'm just kind of walking this paint around the canvas to give it um, a chance to spread a little bit, give those cells a little chance to do their thing. Um, sometimes I want cells and sometimes I don't. I, it just kind of depends on my mood more than anything else, but... Uh, these little canvases are fun. They're kind of, they're kind of like therapy because, you know, they're small and they're fun and you can get some interesting things going on with them, but 
they're not real stress inducing, which is nice. And nobody needs all the stress all the time. So let's run that off that corner. It's a little bit more. I'd like to kind of save that, that pearl violet streak that's right here. That's cool. Um, the green and brown, I kind of, or the green and purple, I kind of knew could be a problem. Um, I really don't care because I think I'll be able to tilt off the things that I really don't like. I think I should have enough paint on here to do that. And actually what I'm seeing here, which is kind of neat. I'm ready to throw it away. Oh well. Kind of neat ribbony thing happening. That's okay. We're going to go up and anchor that corner. I see a really cool cell. It looks like it's half teal and purple and half copper. That's pretty kind of neat. And, oh, there's something flying around in here. What is it? It's a bug of what variety? I don't know. I want to get this off. See this right here? I don't like that at all. I think that is pretty badly ugly. I'm going to live with everything else, but I don't like that. It looks like a bruise, and I wouldn't know because I'm the queen of bruises. So let's see if we can make that go by. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, there we go. I really want to keep this white lacing that's from that cell activator um that is um amsterdam titanium white mixed with australian floetrol which is a paint conditioner uh, from guess where australia um there is also an american version but it does not work the same as the australian version the australian version has magic in it. I don't know what they do to it, but um, it does really cool things with your paints. You don't use very much of it because it is costy man berry. Uh, so, uh, you know, you, you go sparingly with that stuff. So, there we go. There we go. There's my lovely little grenade pour. I will show it better. I'll show it to you better in a moment. But first... I want to wipe off my hands. I think maybe some more cells will come up in this. Uh, that usually happens as it sits. Uh, air bubbles pop, cells rust at the top. It's kind of an interesting idea. I would really like to torch this again. Oh, there it is. See, I put it over here so I can burn myself on it, and then I lost it. That's that's how it happens here, folks. And <laughs> turned it off too well. <sighs> Baby wipes are so handy, though. Give it a little torch. I do like the lines in this. It is super liney and cool. And I'm going to take one of these popsicle sticks and I'm going to go around the edges of the bottom and I'm going to repair any places that did not get enough paint on them. What's that noise? I'm haunted. I'm haunted. Oh no. It could be. This house kind of old and creepy sometimes. We're going to get those edges. I'm going to turn this around, make sure that things are as they should be over here. And they are. That is fabulous. And I am going to go around and get the camera and bring it over so you can see. I'm going to take these gloves off and get paint all over myself while I do it. Um, all of these paints, by the way, are mixed with mix. If you would like to get your own mix, email Krista8974 at gmail.com. That's K-R-I-S-T-A-8974 at gmail.com. 
So let me go get this phone and I will drag you around the table and show you the secrets of my painting. This is the painting that we just made. I'm trying to get it so it's not so glary. This is that pearl violet. No, it's, it's pearl violet and the cell activator together. So you can kind of see down here how it looks kind of violet-y. You can see all the little green cells popping up. Those are actually the um, cobalt and the bronze playing together. This lacing is from that cell activator. I love that. I think that is so super duper cool. Oh, lightning y looking. And then we got all these cool streaks and stripes and and things. And this was from a dirty cup. So this cup was not layered. So there's our little there is our little cell that stretched out. But see how it's purple and blue and cobalt and the other half is like a bunch of colors that you can see through with that bronze on top. That see-through nature is from the mix. So if you want yourself something to mix with your paints that's going to make it dry, shiny, and be pretty, get yourself some mix. I'll put all this information in the description box below. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. Y'all have a good, good day, night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Bye-bye.